and welcome to another slow Saturday. Our Saturday has not exactly been slow. We did um, about another 625 miles or a thousand kilometers today from Cape Town back inland. We are currently in Bloemfontein for the night and tomorrow is the last leg back home. So far we have done about 4,400 kilometers or 2,750 miles more or less. So we had a jolly time. It was absolutely delightful to just switch our brains off and forget about um, stress and pressure from work and it was just absolutely lovely. And of course I fitted in um, a little bit of yarn shopping, just a little bit. Um, there's a very nice online shop in South Africa by the name of Jan, but spelled in Afrikaans, J-A-A-R-N, and it's owned by a friend of mine, Bren, and um, we had to pay her a visit. We simply had to, so let me show you my loot. Um, I wasn't planning on buying this skein. I actually had my shopping done all wrapped up, and then this one was just calling out to me from the shelf so this one came as an afterthought and what I want to do with this one you know many times we are in a shop and we see something absolutely delightful like this and we buy just one hank and then afterwards you sit and I normally do this I buy a variegated one and then afterwards I sit with one hank of yarn that doesn't have any mates and it's all lonely and you can't decide what you want to do with it so what I want to do with this one is I want to design a scarf for winter because South Africa is now moving into winter with just one hank. Um, not like a small shawl, not a boomerang shawl or a shawlette, a scarf. But a scarf with a little bit of a difference. It's going to have a bit of a twist. So that is what this one is for. This is Big Fox Yarn. It's a superwash merino, 75%. And it's a <clears throat> sorry, a 25% nylon, so it's actually very nice sock yarn. It's a it's a three ply sock yarn. So this is oh, I just love the colours. It's everything I like. It's it's real jewel colours for the winter. It's absolutely perfect for winter. So I'm going to start working on this one soon when I'm home. Um, I just need to draw a few diagrams and. Think a little bit more about it so actually I only wanted to leave the shop with this and look how beautiful she wraps your parcels whether you in her little shop in her house to buy or whether she sends it to you via courier this is what you will take out of the courier bag it's nicely wrapped in thin tissue paper with a, a cotton ribbon around it and the cotton ribbon says with love beautiful so in here um, there's something much more delightful. This is, I've got two skeins of each color. The one is a very dark um, charcoal color and then it's a very light gray and a beautiful mustard. And these are Aymara yarns from Quinty Alpaca now in 2018. I think yeah 2018 in August um, I was in the Cape province and we visited Quinte alpaca me and my daughter they've got an alpaca farm and they do everything they breed the alpacas they shear the alpacas they process the fleece into yarn they color the fleece everything on that farm we went through the whole farm on a tour and it was mind-blowing to me so this one is very special. This is super fine alpaca, 40%, um, bamboo, 20%, and then super fine merino, also 40%. So this is a very soft yarn. Um, it's actually a quite luxurious yarn. It's also sock weight. And like I said, I've got six skeins that I want to combine. Uh, during... Um, when did COVID start? 2020. I made this massive shawl that I posted on my website. It was a very simple shawl. It was just granny stripes and then it had a very elaborate border around it. 
I want to do something like that but not with granny obviously not something much more intricate and special but a big shawl I love a shawl but it has to be a big shawl I I want either a scarf or a big shawl I don't like the shawl lit thingy that's somewhere in between it that just doesn't do it for me so I want to make something really big and really luscious that you can hang around your shoulders and it will drape right to underneath your bottom that's that's the kind of thinking I have for this so yeah this this is my stash that I came out of there with it's beautiful isn't it okay so what happened to the fan boss tea I've been working on this in the car but uh, stupid me you know I know that I cannot estimate anything I cannot estimate distance I cannot estimate volume um, why I try to estimate the size without fitting it in the car I don't know but I was like I held it like this and I thought oh, this will sort of work well it didn't so when I eventually fitted it the evening I had to frock a huge huge lot to make it smaller so it's far from finished I'm busy with the body at the moment Let me sit a bit back I'm busy with the body and then I still have to do the sleeves but um, this is a very nice relaxing stitch and while I was driving in, while I was in the car my husband was driving I was crocheting I sat and I thought you know especially the crocheters we tend to go for um, multicolored projects and we tend to go for intricate stitch patterns or a variety of stitch patterns we swap from the one pattern to the other to keep it interesting and this is exactly the opposite this is a really less is more project um, and I think it, um, it will require a person with perseverance and with dedication because after a while the stitch does get boring it's the same thing with the cedar forest sweater that I published two weeks ago it's the same stitch pattern throughout <coughs> pardon me it's the same color throughout there's no change to the color there's no change to the stitch pattern so it's it actually becomes boring but it makes for a very comfortable project to work on when you've got company when you're sitting around braai or whatever you can you can sit and crochet away because you don't have to think about it too much but the end result makes it worth pushing through the boredom because you end up with um, it's like a classic garment that you're going to wear for years and years and years you're not going to grow tired of the many colors the many stitch it's a very calming garment um, the less is more thing is starting to grow in the market if you go look on Ravelry the new patterns that are being published many of them has now toned down in color, toned down in stitch complexity and variety to give you something that's very plain and simple. If you look closely, you can see the stitch pattern is still intricate, but there's only one. It doesn't change constantly. And I think for some people it will be difficult to work on something like this, but for others, it's for me, it's very therapeutic because I don't have to think. I'm now at the stage where I can look around, I can have a conversation, my mind can wander. Um, it's now become a very relaxing, therapeutic piece to work on and I'm really enjoying it. And I have one person testing for me, Ingrid, and Ingrid said the same thing. She said it's a very relaxing stitch. She's enjoying just the relaxation from the crochet. It's not difficult. Um, again it's a measure and make pattern so there's one piece of measurement in the beginning and from there on you're adapted to your body type so it's I'm quite happy with this one I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing it um, I must warn you however it is a bit of a yarn gobbler I've got 500 grams of yarn and I hope I'm gonna have enough I might need to order another hundred gram I'm not sure I'll see how it goes but it's because the stitch pattern is dense remember the last time I said you it's a very nice textured 
dense pattern there I've got it over my hand and you can see you can't really see through it so it's very nice you can wear it without a camisole or anything like that and I like that I really do okay so that's about all the news that I have for today as I said tomorrow we're going back home uh, I just told you that many of the patterns are toning down and it's becoming less is more having said that I've got um, two designs in my head one is knitting and one is crochet and both of them are going to be two colors and quite a variety of stitch patterns it's going to be quite wild and I want to make it it's more aimed towards the young teenagers um, teenagers of yeah it's aimed towards teenagers but I will also enjoy wearing it I think it's going to be quite nice and um, it will be a nice change for me from this one the yarn has been delivered at home so next Saturday when we do slow Saturday again I will show you the yarn for those two they are still in the pipeline as well um, I told you that I want to make the two jerseys but I didn't know what I wanted to do but the yarn has been delivered I've got the picture in my head so I'll get working on that eventually Monday is the kickoff of the Vacheche Cal. So the Cal is starting on Monday. There's a lot of people in the Facebook group already. If you haven't yet bought your pattern, go do so. Buy your pattern on Ravelry. It's only $5. And um, Ravelry will also give you the link to the Facebook group where we're going to host the Cal. You will not be able to do the Cal without purchasing the pattern. Um, I know there are some people in the group in Facebook currently that have not bought the pattern yet. Um, if that is you, please go buy the pattern. I will probably sit on Sunday night and sit with Ravelry on the one side and Facebook on the other side. And those that have not purchased the pattern, I am going to remove them from the group. You won't be able it anyway to participate in the cal by just being in the Facebook group because the pattern will be released on Ravelry so every week you will get an update on Ravelry um, I'm very excited about the cal I love that blanket our baby boy was born on Tuesday Tuesday a week back so he's now a week and what three three days three days yeah Oh, it was so nice to see that newborn baby wrapped up in the Vacheche blanket. It really made me smile. It made me feel all warm and fuzzy. And he's just too beautiful for words. Oh, um, yeah, I'll post a picture for you at the end of the video so that you can see. I have to brag. I'm a grandmother. I have to brag. It's just normal. Okay, there was something else that I wanted to tell you as well, and it was something to do with Vacheche, and now I can't remember what it was, but I know it was something important. Uh, yeah, there's a new platform in the market with the name Crubly. I will post the link for you in the description. Crubly. Um, I can, as a designer, I can publish patterns on Crubly, but I can also publish workshops and courses on Crubly. So it's like a mix between Ravelry and Craftsy, which to me is very nice because, um, <coughs> sorry, this is just tonic water today. This is nothing slutty today. I'm very good today. It's just a grapefruit tonic. I'm out of red wine. On my way home, I've got nothing left, so I'm on the plain tonic water. I didn't feel like gin. Um, Crubly is very nice in that you can purchase your patterns there, but you can also purchase workshops there. So why am I looking at Crubly? Well, I have a huge following on Patreon, but some of the people have complained, and very rightly so, especially people with a lot of experience you've been crocheting for years or you've been knitting for years but you still want to support me so you join patreon for two dollars a month or four dollars a month but there's nothing there for you anymore because you're advanced you're paying but you don't get value for your money 
if we break it down and rather publish a specific course about a specific topic, you can choose whether you want to purchase that course and pay only for that content, which is where Crubly comes in. I can't do that on Patreon. The Patreon platform just doesn't work like that. It works in tiers. It's a monthly subscription and it's difficult because people want to know what they're going to pay for and I can't tell them in advance what they're paying for because I haven't decided what I'm going to put up there. And there's so many of my videos on Patreon already. If you've never been there, consider joining for a month. Just go for one month and scroll through all the content because if you join now, you have access to everything that I've put on Patreon and there are so many videos on there. Um, you can go through and watch whatever you want and then if you're finished and you've gone through all the content that's there and there's nothing more that interests you, then you end your subscription. It's going to cost you $4 or $2. It depends on which tier you join. There's a tier for crochet. There's a tier for knitting, but there's very little content in the knitting tier. And there's one for uh, crochet and knitting. So Crably is, for me, the way to go. I'm definitely going to do um, new workshops, new courses, and I'm going to publish them on Crubly. Now, here's the nice thing for you. You can make money off Crubly as well. You can join the Crubly platform. Just register a profile and put all your personal detail in and what have you. And then there's a little thing at the top right that says become an affiliate. So you can become an affiliate to Crubly. And when you do that, Crubly gives you all the content that's there, but it personalizes the link that you will share to you specifically. So you can look at a course that I published there, and you can take your link and give it to a friend, your social group that you attend on a Saturday. Um, you can share it in another Facebook group. And every person that clicks on your link and that joins that purchases something you will get a commission it's the only platform that I know of that will give a commission to affiliates for helping us advertise our patterns and our courses so go and have a look at Crubly I'm, I'm going to give you the link um, I'm definitely also going to do uh, short videos very soon in a week or two um, just screen recordings to show you what is on Crubly, what you can do on Crubly. There's even a social platform on Crubly where we can um, engage with one another. So if you're one of those that are sick and tired of Facebook, Crubly is something to look into. I'm very excited about it and I'm going to put my patterns on there slowly but surely and I'm most definitely going to do some workshops for Crubly as well. So I hope to see you there. Okay, that's all the news from me. I don't know whether Fane Boss is going to be finished next Saturday. I highly doubt it because this week that's ahead is going to be an absolute... Um, I'm going to be running from Monday morning right through the week. I think the only day I will be able to crochet will be next Friday. But um, I will be able to show you progress at least. And remember... Vacheche starts on Monday. I will give you the pattern to the Vacheche pattern, uh, the link to the Vacheche pattern as well. If you haven't yet bought the pattern, go do so. And I will see you next Saturday on Slow Saturday. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vacheche Cal group on Facebook. Have a great week.